Welcome to another Strumming Saturdays video. Now, in today's video, um, we're going to use a rest. Okay, now a rest is just defined as silence in music, really. So, um, you know, as soon as you make the notes stop ringing, then that's a rest. And um, we, we have different signs and symbols for rests. Um, you know, so we get an eighth note rest, a quarter note rest. So all the different note values have their equivalent rests as well. So what we're going to do in this video, the previous video, video we looked at using a tie, all right, in, in a strumming pattern, just to um, get rid of the one down stroke so that we have two resulting upstrokes after each other, two consecutive upstrokes, um, which uh, just really sounds quite cool. But now instead of using a tie, we are going to use a rest. Now you remember the first time we used a tie, it was on the rhythm down, down, up, up, down. I'm going to play it for you once with the tie, for instance. Now, what if I, instead of using a tie there on beat three, which means I don't play beat three, what if I put an eighth note rest on beat three, which basically just then means um, I'm not going to play beat three, but I'm going to put my right hand on the guitar strings so that it stops the notes from ringing. All right, it's going to sound like this. Let me play it for you um, with uh, the chords we've looked at some of the previous videos. Here we go. Right, that sounds quite cool um, you know, because just that one half a beat of silence really just changes the whole dynamic of this um, rhythm pattern which um, is quite powerful if you think about it like half a beat of silence just makes the, the um, rhythm sound totally different so once again just for a little bit of context I'm gonna play that rhythm once through that chord progression without the tie so as is one two and three and four then I'm going to add the tie. It's going to be one, two, and and four. One, two, and and four. And then the third one would have been one, two, and rest and four. One, two, and rest and four. Okay. So for for you guys who are um, who prefer learning by hearing it, let me play all three of those rhythms one after the other for you, and then you can hear the difference there. Sounds like this. Okay, cool. So there you had three variations of that very same rhythm, but um, once played straight, uh, straightforward, once played with a tie, once played with a rest. And uh, they all sound totally different. And depending on, on, on the song, uh, one of those might work better for a certain song than another one might. Okay, so um, go, and, go and give those a go and, and um, just, you know, apply, apply this stuff, kind of stuff to your playing, making use of rests and ties. Now, if you enjoyed this video, um, please uh, click the like button, uh, share it with your friends and leave a comment below. Any questions, feedback, whatsoever, all, all of that stuff, welcome. And I'll be able to uh, get you some answers if you have any questions regarding any of this kind of stuff. Then um, if you'd like to find out more about some of this uh, strumming patterns, as I've got a strumming patterns for beginners ebook, which um, has got loads and loads of strumming patterns with videos and audio examples and, and actual and different musical examples that you can follow along with as well. Uh, if you'd like to find out more about that, just go to acousticguitarlessons.co forward slash ebooks. Okay, that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. We will carry on with some more strumming fun. Take it easy until then. I'll chat to you later.